In this video, I will show you how to disable the beta version of Roblox. So that's the actual app. There's a beta version now available. And I know that some people don't actually like the beta version. So a lot of the times, if you actually just uninstall the actual desktop app and you just run it through the web-based browser, you should be able to avoid this beta version from popping up. Now, this doesn't always work. So there's actually something else you can try. So if you follow along with the steps I'm gonna show you, and this should enable the beta version of the app to be disabled. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is open up the run window. So if you come down to the search bar in the bottom left-hand corner, and in here you wanna type run, and then open up this app called run. And then in the box here, you want to type a percent and then type local app data, followed by another percent. Once that's done, just go ahead and click OK. What it's going to do is load up a window that looks like this. Now, if you are on a Mac, then there is a slightly different process. So just bear in mind that this way I'm going to show you today is only for Windows. But it does work on any version of Windows. So whether you do have Windows 10 or 11 or any of the older versions like 8 or 7, the steps are the same. So once you've got this window open, what you want to do is search for the Roblox folder. So if you just scroll down, you'll see the Roblox folder down here. So you just want to double click to open up that folder. And then from here, you want to double click on two versions. So once you've done that, you're going to have a page that's going to look like this. And from here, you can see we got the Roblox Studio Launcher beta down here. And then if we actually click into the version, versions you're also going to see Roblox player beta so what you want to do from here is actually just go ahead and delete this one and in any any of these version folders you want to delete the Roblox player beta as well and then you want to do the same again for this one delete that you can see that's all been deleted so we've deleted it from here and the two files that were in the folders so if we now go ahead and launch Roblox so I'm going to come back to the desktop and double click to open then we're going to click run just to go ahead and open this up. You'll see it's just going to take a minute or two to go through and get everything installed if it needs to or do any updates, things like this. So you can see that the Roblox pair has launched up now. So I'm just going to click onto I agree for the updated agreements. And you can see we're back to the original launcher. So you can see the dashboard has gone back to normal. We're not in the beta version and everything is as it should be uh, prior to the beta version launch. So I hope this video helped you out today and if it did then please be sure to leave a like on the video and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials for everything tech and digital related. With that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.